found himself, and they said, you know, uh, he said that we must be careful about the leaven of the Pharisees. Maybe he's talking about lunch. And they thought Jesus was thinking about lunch, like most of you do when you go to work. <laughs> People go to work at 9 o'clock and dream of lunchtime. They can't wait for the break. And when they come back from lunch, they dream of 5 o'clock. Why? Because they're not doing what they were born to do. They can't wait to get away from it. And they said to Jesus, uh, is it because we haven't bought any lunch that you said we must be aware of the leaven of the Pharisees? And Jesus said something to them that I believe should change your life. He said, he said, friends, why do you worry about lunch? Always thinking about food, you humans. He said, my meat is to do the will and the purpose of my father. Until you find something more important than food, you haven't found your purpose yet. When a person has discovered their purpose, a passion rises up inside of them that keeps them away from even food. They don't even take vacations. You got to beg them to rest because they got a passion for living. When a person has found their purpose, they are strange. They have no working hours. Only people with jobs got working hours. People with purpose have no working hours. Then there's no punch clock for them. They go to work just when they wake up and they stay to work until they fall down dead. I'm talking about it. I'm talking about one of them right here. And if you check all the great people of history, that's the way they live. I mean, Paul, what a man. The guy preached all night until the guy fell out of the window and died. Paul went downstairs, healed the guy, raised him to the dead, put him back in the window and kept on preaching. That's what I call passion. Passion. I saw Peter, a fisherman, who was bored on his job until he discovered his purpose. And when he discovered his purpose, they couldn't stop him. As a matter of fact, when he discovered his purpose, Peter told the Sanhedrin council, they said, we are going to cut your head off if you keep preaching. Peter says, well, I got a choice to make. He says, no, you got a choice to make. If you cut my head off, I'll preach. If you leave it on, I'll preach. What are you going to do? So they whipped him and put him in prison. What he did? He preached. When they let him out, he preached. They threatened him, he preached. They whipped him, he preached. They ran him out of town, he preached. They stoned him, he preached. You see, when you got purpose, nothing stops you. Because it has a passion that is stronger than death. The same Peter who was afraid at the resurrection became an invincible man when he received a revelation of who he was born to be. Give the Lord a hand for passion. You and I, we must discover something that makes us have a reason for living beyond death. You know, Martin Luther King was a great man. And like all people who discovered their purposes, he took on a spirit that was very difficult to handle. You know, people heard Martin Luther's testimony as he spoke from the steps of the Lincoln Memorial years ago. And that great speech he gave, I have a dream. How many of you have ever heard that dream? You've ever heard it before? Isn't that a great speech? But do you know that the greatest message this man ever gave was not on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial? His greatest message was given in a small little church in Alabama that could only seat maybe a couple hundred people. And he was speaking at this church service, and I remember listening to that speech, and I said to myself, that's the greatest statement the man ever made. What was it? He stood before those people, and by this time, they had threatened to kill him all over the country. He knew that there were people out there who did not agree with his philosophy. But he was born to do what he was doing. And you could see it in his eyes. You could almost feel it in every word he said. And do you know the words that spoke from that man's heart that was a, an indication of his passion and purpose was this. He said, it doesn't matter anymore. 
Boy, that's a powerful statement. What are you waiting on? That's it. You see, you'll never change the world and impact your generation until you can say, it doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they plan. It doesn't matter what they try. They can't stop me. Why? I'm already dead. When he said, it doesn't matter anymore, he became a dead man. How can you kill a dead man? I wonder if you found a dream that can cause you to say, it doesn't matter anymore. You know, that's how it is with me. What I was born to do is so clear. It's on paper. I got it all written down. I got my life in detail on paper for the next 50 years. That means about 95 years old, I should be around finishing everything. And do you know, that makes me very dangerous. Because it means your opinions are too late. If you threaten to kill me, you might as well shoot now. If you want to stop me, you might as well get all the armor you can. Why? Because I've discovered something more important than your threat. That's what purpose is all about. There's a passion for success. Success, therefore, has to have passion in it. If you could stop doing what you're doing and still be happy, you don't have any passion for what you're doing.